The following is a paid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Hi everyone, I'm Fernanda Carbert Sacker and welcome to the Kickstarter preview to Christmas Lights, a card game. This is not just one game, but there are nine other games in it. But we are going to focus on just the main game. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. Christmas Lights is a card game where you're trying to complete two strings of patterns. Everyone is dealt two pattern cards in the beginning of the game that you'll need to play light bulb cards in a certain order to complete it. However, your cards will only be facing your opponents, so you need to think twice before playing your cards. There are four actions you can do, and all can be done in order. One of the things you can do is swap cards with an opponent, taking a card from them and replacing it with one of your cards. You can play a card from your hand, but you cannot look before you choose. If you don't manage to play a card in the correct lineup of your pattern, you have to discard the card instead. A sale can be taking place. You pick a card from your hand and draw one from the market. To have the choice to keep and play one of those cards, or to negotiate for information in their hand by giving a card to an opponent. And the last thing a player does is to refill their hand. There are some cards like broken bulbs that can be played in part of the pattern lineup, but must be replaced in order to refill the pattern. Once the pattern is done, the player must play a plug card before going into their last pattern. Players may also encounter some event cards that may help them out completing their patterns. Once players have completed both of their patterns, the round continues until everyone has an equal amount of turns. The player with their two completed patterns is declared the winner. But wait! Also included in the Christmas light card game are several bonus games that you can try out, each with varying styles of play and may use a different number of components found in the game box. First of all, what are you getting in this little package, I would say? And you know, there is 10 different games in there. I haven't played all of them, unfortunately, but for the most part, I played about four or five. They're really cool on how different there are from different designers in there and most of them i would say it's going to be pretty much a filler most of these are filler games so it's something that you would bring out and play between games or have a bunch of small games to play uh so uh fairly light and it's fairly uh, uh short to play for this part of my impressions i was just going to be focusing on the game that we you just saw on the overview because that's the game that I played most of them and for the kind of game it's kind of more of a competitive Hanabi when I think about it it's not even Hanabi at all but that's uh, since your cards are facing the other way that's what I think about and um, it's pretty much uh, interesting that you're trying to figure out what's in your hands you're taking a bit of actions trying to see you can complete those patterns before anyone else does. So I do like that it's a race game and it's also uh, fairly light and there are ways of trying to know what's in your hand. And if I haven't stressed this out, I think it's kind of crazy and also quite wonderful that there are 10 different games and they they do different things. These are not just, just variants of games. These are uh, different games from different designers and I mean some of them are you're playing as teams trying to collect as many light balls. Some of them are you're trying to play cards in the row so you can line up with your patterns. And there's also some little uh, games in there that I kind of give homage to like other games like Old Maid and Crazy Eights. And so that was just a brief look at Christmas Lights. A card game has 10 different games in its Yeah, it's really crazy how many games it could fit in this kind of box. But do check it out on Kickstarter right now. I have a link in the description below and see if this is something that you like to support. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on board and card games. This is the Cardboard Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.